Back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man, I gotcha Now, do something incriminating Like ambush somebody Aha, the plot thickens You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm, how about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me, you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Ripburger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors? Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> Yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Maybe I'd be here. On second thought, maybe I didn't. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now.
so much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. This sucker's mine. Psst. Ben! 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 No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They'd kill me! Get my editor! He's gotta get me out of this! Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks! My career is riding on those pictures! Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Take that. Quit it! And that. Quit it! Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight. Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. 
Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it'll shut you up. Hmm. Fake federal investigator ID could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch? I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. <laughs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. I'm with the bed, chump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you lose, get your man. <laughs> they stopped moving. Problem with your truck? Yeah, <laughs> loose hose, uh, nothing big. Uh, I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Uh-oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. 